Hello, mandolin players. Nice to have you here. I want to make a little video. It's uh, connected to the previous video I made a couple of weeks ago. It's about the Bach piece, the Goldberg Variations. And I, uh, I was sharing this sheet music with you. It's on my website and quite many of you have actually downloaded it and are playing this piece now. That's, I'm really thankful for that. And I was also talking a little bit about my struggle to um, memorize a piece like this, learning from a piece of sheet music. And for you that don't know what, what uh, piece I'm talking about, uh, it's, you, you probably heard it, it's like this. Actually, first time I heard this piece, it was on this CD, Chris Thiele and Mike Marshall, and I really wanted to learn it. And uh, but I also talked a little bit about earlier about the struggle I had to to memorize from a sheet music like like this until I learned this technique of that I called learning backwards, and connected to my. To the sheet music on my website. Actually, you that haven't downloaded it yet, it's still available on mandolinsecrets.com. You can find it there. And uh, yeah, some of you know me, some of you don't. My name is Magnus Sederlund, and I'm a professional mandolin and, gu and guitar player and teacher from Sweden. And right now we're having very cold here in Sweden. Today, this morning, it was like 15 degrees below Celsius. So I think that equals to 5 degrees Fahrenheit. Quite cold. And uh, I would be very interested to hear from what place you are watching this. And please also tell me your, the weather right now. How cold is it? How warm is it? Anyway, connected to this uh, sheet music I have available, there is also this little video course that I call Memorizing Music, sharing some of the tips and techniques I use to simplify this process. And uh, the, the, the method that I learned from a guitar colleague that I use the most is what I call learning backwards. And that means learning the piece if I can show like this, you're learning the last phrases and you connect it one by one uh, instead of going this direction. And one of, of the students or the mandolin players now registered for the course, he, he uh, sent me some blog posts about this. And this is actually a technique, the, the terminology for this in for teaching is called back chaining and it's it is something that people use for teaching languages for learning how to memorize texts poems for example and also for uh, also physical activities uh, you can use back chaining i haven't tried that like jumping very high very far and Things like that. I haven't tried that, but I know it works very well for music. So the idea is for this, for the Goldberg variations. Doing the back chaining, you start with the absolute last phrase. Now I'm staying with the A part, but the, the, that phrase would sound like this. Simple as that. Once you know that one, you play the phrase just before that one. So this, it's, uh, 
In the blog article I read, I will also put that link in the comment section for the video. It said you're going from the weak towards the strong. My way of, of saying this is you're going from the unknown towards the known. And that makes a very big difference from learning a piece like this. So now that we know this, this part, this is the strong part, and now we're connecting it with a phrase just before that, would be like this. You see? And uh, this is just something that you have to try for yourself, but I, I can actually guarantee that this will speed up the process and also uh, yeah, make it a lot more easier. And we, I can continue a little bit here, also doing the, the two bars just before that, it's like this. Is something I want you to try and uh, you, you go to my website mandolinsecrets.com and there you find the absolutely free sheet music you can just download it there um, and then you try going from learning backwards using this technique of back chaining and there's also another one last thing that I want to point out for example this last phrase For me, I can immediately uh, like uh, um, describe this little melody as oh, well, it's like a D major scale just descending from the F sharp, D, yeah, and the and the phrase before that. But for me that's, oh, this is like a A7 phrase. D. Right there I'm using this other technique that I'm, I'm trying to describe in my video course. That I call taking some theory shortcuts. Because that you can apply the theory knowledge you have from uh, from your yeah, earlier experiences and then you apply that to the melody and um, that will also make it a lot easier because uh, normally a sheet music like this it's by the way it's standard notation and mandolin tabs there is no like chord uh, explanations or chord dia what is this word you know what I mean. No, no chords here or anything like that. But with a little bit of thinking yourself, you can actually make these small notes and uh, uh, applying your, your theory, theoretical knowledge will also lead in some theory shortcuts that will also make it a lot easier. So that's two of the things that I'm explaining in the video course. And there's also a third one about the tempo for the song, but uh, I don't go into that right now. Yeah, five degrees Fahrenheit. Please tell me how cold or, or how warm is it at your place right now. And this is also something I will try to do every second Wednesday at this time of the day at uh, two o'clock Central European time. I will try to do a, a Facebook live session. Okay, that was it for right now. So have a good time and see you soon.